Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about one step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 0 is uh, greater than or equal to 7n. So I want to get n by itself. So I need to divide by 7 to both sides. And that leaves me, well, 0 divided by 7 is 0. So 0 is greater than or equal to n. Well, if I rewrite this, have n come first, or at the n over there, the pointy side is still close to the n, and it's still equal to, and the zero is open by the open math. So my greater than side turns into a less than side. Okay, I flip the side when you do that. And so if I want to make this into a graph now, right, I'm going to graph it with zero right in the middle. One, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Well, if I'm, uh, n can equal zero, so that means I'm going to put a closed circle right there. Then n is less than also 0. So I'm going to make my arrow to the left. And now we have a graph here that represents all the values that n can be. They can be 0 as well as everything to the left. That's negative, right? Less than 0. So let's recap. We were given 0 is greater than or equal to 7n. I divide by 7 to both sides, get n by itself. From there, I flip the whole thing, have n come first, and make sure I flip the inequality as well. Leave me with n is less than or equal to 0. I then put a, a closed circle right at zero, okay, right, uh, right at zero, showing that n can equal zero, and then I needed to make my line to the left, or shade to the left, because what that does is says n can be all values that are less than zero as well as equal to zero. And so this graph here matches my final answer, which is n is less than or equal to zero.